Well, I owe a great big thank you to every one of you who take the time, ladies and gentlemen, checking out the videos. I can't thank you enough. We have an amazing video. Thanks again for taking the time to subscribe. Really, really appreciate that. Remember this incredible area where I am going to have to make a video where I talk about each line. One person, community member, mentioned to me, it looks like a winding sort of like, you know, maze-like object that turns at the end, goes each up and down on each line. I said, yeah, really? And simple, in, uh, not inversion, sorry, a negative, probably close to the same thing. The inversion gives us a green surface. You know, when we look at the surface of the moon with simple colored filters, it helps the eye. So I just did a basic research on exactly which colors are easier for our eyes to see. And that's why I use these colors because they are easier. They're in the spectrum of our eyes and thus <laughs> permitting us to see better. You want to see a UFO? How about a brand new capture, UFO capture? You know, there's lots of UFOs out there and this is a footage only four weeks ago. Check this out. Here's a nice view of a real UFO. I'm going to shut up, get some music up because it's just quite simply an object passing very close to the surface, by the way, because you can tell by the creators how close I am. Thank you for watching. We have an amazing video, new UFOs, and of course, amazing structuring on the surface and a whole lot more.
Right beside the Apollo 17 moon landing, we have Mons Argeas. Look at the elevation along the Terminator line. That's Mons Argeas. Over to the right, the blue patch, just off to the right of Mare Serenitatis, the gray patch on the left, and over to the right of Mare Imbrium, the blue patch, you have the first big crater is Theophilus. Stick around, we're going to look at some more stuff. Imagine you're playing with your dog and you throw that rope with the two knots on each end, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> In reality, this is with the infrared camera, and it looks like an object that keeps winding around and becoming circular as it's spiraling around in space. Um, a capture with the infrared camera a couple of weeks back. A large object hurls towards the moon at the same time probably a couple of hours after India had crashed on the moon. A little basic understanding on why um, asteroids are the shape they are. This, for example, I have no proof it's Oumuamua, but obviously it's a similar shape, meaning it's elongated. Oumuamua is a very alien asteroid, and it's not for nothing they call it that. 300 kilometers in diameter is what defines an object as being spherical in general. Towers on the moon, standing, towering objects off the surface, this smoke at the end of a tunnel or pipe, I see it often, that is billowing smoke on the moon, and just off 20 to 30 miles to the left, this object right here. No matter what these objects are, they're definitely, in my head, 100% confirmed as not being natural objects. Look at the line that goes to a larger object, but how everything is connected in symmetry. Object after object. This is right beside, east of Copernicus. Here's Clavius Crater. So many mysteries about the moon. So many things that we don't know about that moon. Here's some greenery along a crater's edge on the surface of the moon. It's not a filter. Here's one of these anomalies that really intrigues me as I've been showing for years, those straight lines. This is a monolithic object as we're looking through this um, square there. The defining black line is not on the moon. It is a lens. 
inside of the lens between the two uh, areas we see these both elevated objects and built objects which again seem to have both dark and bright structures they have the same reflectivity as the surface and they are going unnoticed I never thought I'd get to the point in my life where I wasn't able to interact or respond to everyone that was talking to me. But guys and gals, I really want you to know that I appreciate the support. Thanks a lot. Thanks for connecting. Thank you for the ongoing support.